Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and we are checking out the latest build, of course, reviewing the latest build of Windows 10. For 20H1, this is build 18941. It was released yesterday, Thursday, July 18th, 2019 and contains roughly nothing much to talk about. But the install went well, the system is very stable, so it works well, and it's a build that seems to be okay. Of course, if you have problems, there's a few things you can do if you can't upgrade. Uh, some of you are stuck in older builds. You can uh, upgrade using a um, just rebooting if you're stuck like somewhere around 18.9.12 to 18.9.26. If you are stuck at um, a later build, you can also use in the uh, Windows 10 image that's available for download and do a clean install. And there's a little bug also that I will talk about um, in a separate video uh, a little later today if you're stuck also on older builds. So what we'll do here is go quickly through and uh, some information about builds, what we have been going through on 20H1 right now. So this build, 18.9.41, is the 20th build of Windows 10 for 20H1. And the first build, 18.8.36, was released on February 14th, 2019. And it contained uh, the light team that was now called Light, and we um, also had a um, upgrade to the Windows subsystem for Linux that you see here, that little command line that uh, is on this um, little box. So, of course, this is a real subsystem for Linux that you can install and, and tweak with. Uh, there was, of course, uh, now the possibility to browse the file system with the file explorer. There were then um, a week later on February 22nd, build 18841, supported Windows Sandbox uh, configuration files and hotkeys, stuff like that. Uh, February 28th, we had 18845 that add improvement to emojis. 18850, released March 6th, nothing new. March 13th, was built 18.855, it had improvements once again to Sandbox, and Notepad, that uh, was kind of funny that they just actually do update this thing. Notepad adds some little uh, new feature of uh, simply being able to uh, basically um, restore unsaved content when you restart for updates or stuff like that. So, you know, some little improvements here and there. 18860 was released on March released on March 20th. Swift Keys Typing Intelligence supported more languages. March 27th, 18865 had improvements to Narrator. April 10th, East Asian uh, Microsoft Input Method Editor uh, improvements, IME. That's pretty much what we have today, but in Korean. April 26th, build 18885. Uh, dictation support for more languages, improvement to your phone app, that is uh, nice, and of course improvements to Narrator. Build 18.8.90 had friendly dates format, so you can now in the file explorer use friendly dates, which is an uh, easier way of course of uh, knowing when files are, you know, what the dates of the files and the stuff in the system. That was always something that was kind of a little weird because you just didn't know um, what you, you know, what, what dates and what, what's the information. So when you were here, you could actually uh, choose friendly dates in the way that uh, things show up by using friendly dates. Well, the friendly dates means that you had an easy way of knowing what's the date, the time, and... Uh, that was because you know it's it's it, if you're in multiple languages that was always something that's kind of a little weird so at least um, this was nice because it gave you really clear information about what and when all of this was 
Okay, then we had, so, you know, until now, so as we go on and I, I talk about these things, there's really not a lot of, you know, stuff happening. Then on May 8th, we had Build 18.8.94 with improvements to accessibility, but File Explorer Search More is now powered by Windows Search, which integrates your OneDrive content. So, improvements on the search. Uh, 18.8.98, May 15th, was this type. is now visible in Task Manager Performance tab, SSD or regular hard drive. Improvements to your phone app on the Build 18.9.08 of May 29th. New OneDrive icon. Uh, settings header and new file explorer search experience been removed temporarily 18912 on the 15th that was a 15th uh, insider preview on June 5th improvements to narrator uh, June 12th 18917 Windows subsystem for Linux version 2 replacing the other original one this one is a real Linux not like the original one which was a uh, emulation there's a uh, new download throttling option and delivery optimization, improvements to Narrator and Windows Ink. Um, just for the curiosity of the things, we're going to go here in Settings and we're going to go and check out Delivery Optimization because um, they had added some, uh, some uh, features. Delivery Optimization, uh, Advanced Options. Uh, yeah, percentage now is percentage, and yes, I do have the absolute bandwidth, so you can choose in megabytes per second or megabits per second. So that's the new experience, which was different because before it was only sliders with percentage, like the one you see here, at the percentage at the bottom. So this is new to uh, that build. Um, then we had build 18.9.22, improvement to language settings page. Adding headers are back on settings home page. Uh, 18932 and July 3rd, improvement to eye control, accessibility, notifications, your phone app once again, and updates to indexing behavior include to exclude common developer folders. And then we had build 18936. Phone screen feature in your phone app now available for surface. You can now create quick events and reminders, clock calendar fly out. I don't know if it's yet here on mine. So if I click the plus, mine still brings out the um, the calendar app. You should be able to do it from there, uh, technically. And um, that was also uh, new password list, sign-in options and settings account sign-in options page. And finally, 18.941 that we had now, July 18th. So overall, really not a lot happening. I just went through this list and just kind of noticed that we haven't had a lot of stuff happening since the first build. And we are 20 builds later now. So they're really, really going slower. Um, is this going to kick in and go faster when 19H2 builds are officially released uh, that's going to be interesting but I think they're going slow right now if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and thanks for watching our videos hope you enjoyed this little rundown of the last 20 bells quickly what we had as new features